Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Ophir Levy, and I am the head of the technical support in Unitronics. So, as you know, uh, Unitronics in the latest version added the new protocol MQTT. MQTT stands for Message Queuing Telemetry Transport. Basically, it's a machine-to-machine -machine connectivity protocol that runs over TCP IP. Uh, in general, this is a IoT protocol, uh, which is very good for low bandwidth, uh, high latency, or unreliable networks. MQTT is an ideal protocol for machine-to-machine -machine, uh, communication. Uh, MQTT also brings many powerful benefits to the process, uh, such as distributing information more efficiently, increasing scalability, reduce network bandwidth consumption dramatically, and even reducing update rates to seconds. MQTT is based on publish subscribe structure. We have uh, the publisher, which basically publisher sends messages according to topics to the specified brokers. The broker is acting like a switchboard. It is accepting the messages from the publisher of uh, specified uh, topics and then sending them to the subscriber of those topics. A subscriber receives the message from the broker for the specified topics that he was subscribing to. Here uh, we can see this diagram. Uh, which basically we can see how uh, the MQTT also can uh, bridge the gap between the OT and the IT. So at the bottom we can see, let's say, the machines, machine 1, 2, and 3, which uh, Unistream, uh, let's say, installed on those machines. Uh, and we can see in the middle the uh, MQTT broker. Usually the MQTT broker will be installed on a server, on a PC, of course. And what we can see here is that the machines can publish data to the broker, a cloud application or MES or any database server can subscribe to these, the data, to some topics that these uh, machines will publish. And then automatically, once the machines will publish the data, the broker will transfer the data to these uh, applications and vice versa also the machines can subscribe to specific topics in the MQTT broker and once the MES or the cloud applications uh, will send the data for these relevant topics the MQTT broker will send this data to the machines So what Unistream uh, can do with MQTT? Unistream uh, is a client and it can perform as a publisher. It can publish data to a specified broker. Later on we'll see how we can define the broker connection. And also we can, Unistream can be also as a subscriber, meaning it can receive data from uh, defined brokers. Uh, and also predefined uh, topics. Here we can see also uh, another uh, diagram where uh, we have here machine-to-machine -machine basically uh, communication also over MQTT and we can see here that basically the machines at the bottom are also uh, subscribed to specific topics like uh, 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 humidity and temperature and whenever the publishers at the top uh, are publishing this information the data will be automatically be sent by the broker to the uh, subscriber. You can understand that uh, this protocol is uh, not like uh, the ordinary client server that you used to know where usually the uh, client uh, or we're pulling always information, for example, if we will take a Modbus protocol, for example, then when the master wants to get information from slaves, he always needs to pull 
uh, in order to get uh, new information and basically it's kind of loading the network while in uh, MQTT well, if there is no information to send the publisher will not send it and only when the publisher will send new information the subscriber will uh, receive it. Uh, by the way, just to let you know, MQTT was originally uh, developed for uh, low bands, high latency uh, data links, uh, mostly used in the oil and gas industry. However, today uh, MQTT is used for many applications beyond oil and gas, uh, from controlling smart lighting system, messenger applications, and much more. Uh, Amazon Web, Web Services recently announced that uh, Amazon uh, Internet of Things, IoT, is based on MQTT as well. Uh, overall, MQTT appears to be uh, the protocol best suited for control system used by industrial organization, and we can expect that this uh, is a rapid rate of adoption will only increase in the future. And we all know also the buzzword uh, Industry 4. Uh, I just want to mention again that uh, in addition to MQTT, Unistream uh, series uh, uh, also support uh, SQL client, meaning that we can connect to, for example, to ERP systems and uh, exchange information with those uh, uh, servers and application. We have built-in web server and many more uh, option to connect to the cloud. Okay, so this was the presentation part. Now uh, we are going uh, to see how it looks in uh, UniLogic. So here uh, we have UniLogic. Now it's more the technical uh, part of this uh, presentation. Uh, under protocols, now we can see uh, MQTT. MQTT uh, offers are here to configure the broker connection. So here we can define in general the IP address of the broker. We can even uh, use a host name if it has a dynamic IP. We have the default port uh, and of course many other options. We are not going to cover all of them, but uh, we have here the username and password to connect to the broker. In terms, in terms of authentication. Uh, the last to, uh, wheel topic, meaning that if there will be uh, a problem in the connection, this will be the last topic that will be published uh, by the broker uh, with this uh, message, for example. We have a keep alive, auto-connect. Auto-connect means that once uh, we will power up the Unistream, it will try to uh, auto-connect to the broker. We have the connection attempts interval and we even have here the encryption option. So probably you know that for MQTT there are different uh, uh, options for encryption and uh, we have here the MQTT SS, uh, without any encryption, uh, MQTT SSL, MQTT uh, certification, and then if you choose uh, this option, you can, uh, you have this new field here and then by pressing here, you can uh, import the cert uh, file of the certification to UniLogic in order to communicate with the broker. So this is another nice option and we have also here the uh, certification which is uh, a pretty fine signed uh, certification. Okay, so this is the broker connection. Now uh, we are going to look at the subscriptions. So in this, uh, in this uh, example application, we configured several subscriptions. As I mentioned here, uh, we are going to define here subscriptions that we want to receive uh, for specific, specific topics from the broker. Uh, so here, basically, for each time that I'm adding a new subscription, it will get an ID. We can select from a list what will be the broker, 
Uh, since here, in general, just to let you know that we can define several brokers. So we define the broker, we define here the topic. So for just for, for an example, this topic, uh, you can see that the topic looks like uh, uh, when we are having a pass in our PC to our folders, this is, uh, looks the same. So the topic here is Unitronics, Rooms, Management, and I want to get uh, the uh, data of the humidity, in the, let's say in the management room. Uh, you can see here that we have some options uh, for editing the topic. I will show you another topic. Uh, this, this option, uh, the plus sign and the hash sign, uh, give us the option to create topics uh, which, which are called wildcards. So, for example, this topic says, Okay, if I'm, if I'm placing here the plus sign, that means that uh, if I have, let's say, in Unitronics uh, uh, 10 rooms, I want to get the temperature from all the rooms. So I'm, I'm not specifying here which room, but using the plus sign, it means that I will receive all the temperature from all rooms. Uh, and the hash sign, by the way, uh, let's uh, take, for example, this topic, and if I will remove here the humidity and I will put here hash sign it means that I want to receive from the management room all the data let's say if the management room has humidity temperature and more information by placing at the end the hash sign it means that I want to receive all the data from those uh, from the management room Okay, so these are basically the wildcards. The dollar sign is basically more for system uh, uh, data that we want to receive from the broker. Okay, so in general, this is how to create the topic. And then in this field, we are going to define the tag that once the broker will send us the data, the data will be inserted into this tag. So, of course, we need to know the type of the data that we are requesting from the, from the broker and then to assign the relevant tag here. We have the quality of uh, service option and you can see here we have also uh, the tooltip. So, we can define whether it will be uh, done at uh, mostly once, at least once or exactly one. Uh, we have the option for the buffered mode. Uh, this is just a mode that uh, gives us the option to uh, buffer the messages into a buffer inside the, the Unistream PLC and then we can release the messages one by one. If we are not interesting, uh, interested in uh, buffering the messages, we will not just will not use it and then whenever we'll get an, a message, we will just process it uh, and that's it. Uh, the option subscribe at the boot time, it means that once we are going to power up the, uh, the Unistream, it will subscribe automatically uh, to the broker. And here we can define what type of format we are uh, sending, whether it's raw data or JSON. Of course, the subscriber and the publisher must use the same format of data. Let's take a look on the publications. So here we are going to define what the Unistream is going to publish, meaning what data is going to send to the broker. And then in this case, we have two options. We have the aperiodic, uh, probably some of you know this option from the Modbus, but we have this option uh, which is called aperiodic, meaning that these pub publications will be sent on, the, on a trigger by letter uh, element and we have the period which uh, will be sent according to the uh, period that we define here. So just like take a look for example on the period uh, option. Here we can see we can define a name, we get an ID uh, we just need to define uh, to which broker we want to publish the data, what uh, is the topic 
that we are going to publish the data into in the broker, of course, and what the, the tag which holds the data. Of course, this uh, the value that uh, is uh, inside this tag will be sent uh, to the topic in the broker uh, which we see here. We have here uh, the format, as we said, uh, the raw data or JSON, the period, and we have also an option to link a bit, which if the broker received our publication, this bit will be on, meaning that the broker is acknowledging uh, receiving the data from, from the Unistream. Okay, so this is the way we are defining our uh, broker connections, subscriptions, and publications. Now, uh, let me just uh, show you here. We have uh, um, made an example application. Uh, by the way, you can uh, download it also uh, from our uh, new portal. Uh, basically, we installed on my PC a broker. And using uh, uh, this application, you can see here that we made both, uh, we are publishing here, for example, humidity value and some indication for lights. And we also subscribed to the same topics. Okay? Uh, we are subscribed to the humidity and to the lights. So basically, whatever I will change in the, uh, let me just go here. So whatever I will publish, I will also receive it here in the same PLC. So for example, if I will publish a uh, humidity 15, then you will see that I'm getting the data back into uh, here. And if I will change any lights here, automatically we will see that it's being affected here. Uh, just to show you more, uh, we have here another client which we downloaded from the web, uh, which uh, is basically MQT, MQTT client. And let me just see if I can minimize it so you can see both. So basically you can see here that uh, I can publish here uh, some data. So for example, I will write my name. Okay, and then in general, you supposed to see that this data will come into this field. So I will click on the publish, and then you can see here the data came into uh, the PLC. And also, if I will go to the subscribe option here, then uh, one moment, let's see if it's running. Yes, it's running. So you can see that if I will publish, let's say, the value 10, and you see that now I'm also registered to the subscribe to the humidity. So in general, if I will, you see here, I'm, here it's showing it in, in hexa uh, format, but you see I published uh, 10 and it shows uh, A. If I will publish, for example, 15, then you can see here F. So it's just showing the data as a hexadecimal. So this is just uh, in general to show you that the data that we are uh, subscribing and publishing can be shown also in another device and not only uh, just inside the PLC itself. But as I mentioned in the presentation, uh, we can publish data to uh, cloud applications, we can publish data to another uh, uh, machines or uh, devices which are uh, supporting MQTT protocol. And of course, we can as well subscribe to cloud applications and any devices. For example, today there are many smart devices like smart sensors, IoT sensor of temperature, humidity, that you can install them anywhere in the factory or in uh, uh, the building and then you can subscribe to this uh, uh, information and get the temperature or humidity from those uh, sensors. Um, okay, so let's uh, take another look also here in uh, the ladder diagram. So 
let's just take a look here on the uh, send and receive uh, routine. Here we can see that uh, uh, once uh, we click on the connect button, just uh, I will show you here. Um, in general, in the main screen, we have here this connect button and we can see also the uh, indication that we are connected. If I will click on disconnect, now I'm disconnected from the broker. Clicking on connect will show me that I'm connected. Once I'm clicking on connect, uh, I'm having here this uh, uh, letter element, which is MQTT connect broker. So I just need to enter the broker ID and I'm getting the status, of course, whether I'm connected or not. Uh, by the way, uh, here under the letter com MQTT, you can find all the MQTT letter elements. And once I'm activating the connection, I'm also activating MQTT subscribe all, meaning that I want to subscribe to all the topics that I listed here uh, in this uh, table. Okay, and of course, there is an option here to unsubscribe a topic or to subscribe to specific topics. So you can use these letter elements to decide how you want to subscribe to the topics that you uh, configured in the subscription table. And here, of course, this is the disconnect option from the broker. Um, now, one more thing we did in this application, uh, we have a very nice option because uh, to, to change all these parameters via uh, uh, the ladder diagram, uh, that means that uh, if a machine uh, builder, OEM, that builds the machine and he doesn't know yet what will be the broker IP or the username or he doesn't know yet what subscription exactly will be the topic, he can prepare all, everything in advance, maybe even with just a temporary uh, data. And then you can see here under the MQTT letter elements, we have get broker configuration and set broker configuration. And the same for publication and the same for subscriptions. That means that we can I will show you here first how it looks here. So if I will go to parameters, okay, and then, sorry, and then for example, I will go to broker management. So let's take a look here on the data that we have to, for the broker. So the broker ID is one, so I just need to enter here. Okay, I know that my broker ID is one and I want to get the config. So once I will click on get, all the data that basically we've entered here uh, will appear here and then we can decide whether we want to change any data and then set back the configuration. That means that we have full control to read and write back the configuration data which can be really useful. Uh, we can do the same also for the Let's take a look, for example, for some sub subscription. So let's go for the subscription. And let's say I want to read now subscription ID 4. And I will click on the get. And then you can see here all the data that is being configured here. And then, of course, if I want, I can change it and then set it back into the PLC. Okay, and of course, all this is being done here uh, under the broker management subroutine, uh, sorry, uh, UDFB. This is a UDFB, and what is nice about it, we prepared UDFB for the broker management, publication management, and subscription management. And this way, you can just export it from the example application, import it into your own application. We have did, we've did the same for the... Uh, for the uh, custom control, for uh, the broker management, publication management. So in general, you can take all these custom controls and UDFBs and just import them into your own application uh, in order to use it in your MQTT application. 
Okay, I hope uh, that uh, this information was uh, in informative. Thank you very much for joining us to this webinar. If you have any further questions or uh, you want to download this example, as I mentioned, you can do it from our new portal, portal uh, uh, which is in support.unitronics.com. And again, you can send us if you have any question to support at unitronics.com and we'll be happy to answer. Thank you very much for joining us and see you in the next webinar.